Pastor Adam here. And so I just want to take a moment to have a bit of a uh, real talk with you guys as my subscribers, my amazing people. And uh, as I titled this video, um, I've prayed for people and not seen them healed. And what did I do? Now you're going to notice backgrounds different today. Actually, I'm going to take a moment. Um, one thing I want to do, this is my office, super messy, right? Classic pastor office in his church, just not well organized. I, that's just me. Um, I want to make sure that as I'm teaching you guys and being a, about healing the sick, about receiving healing, growing in that, and as a person who would be, maybe some would call a healing evangelist. I don't, I don't know what you want to say, how you want to define me, but as a teacher, uh, that you guys have access to me. That's one thing I want to be different than other people. I think a lot of times when people get famous or they're well known, um, it, the rest of the world feels like they can't access. And so uh, in some ways, in, through a YouTube channel, which is unique, is um, I really want to give you guys access to conversations. And so um, guys, and what I really want to make sure you guys don't do, and this is a big deal, is look at me as somebody who's special. Oh, please don't do that, guys. Please. Um, I, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm special to God because I'm, I'm born again and He loves me. But uh, don't look at me as the special anointed person. Oh, that would be the worst. Um, the only difference between you and me in terms of anointing is maybe I have been around the block a little bit more than you have in terms of divine healing. Uh, that that might be the only difference uh, between us. Like um, you have the same spirit in you than I do. Like don't look at yourself as less than. Like the moment. Like really, here's the deal: we are all growing up into Christ, and really, we all have the same spirit Jesus had. So don't elevate people. Don't especially don't elevate me. I'm I'm a, just a Christian. I love Jesus. Uh, the only difference is again, I've been around the block. I've studied the Word, and I'm teaching you what I know. Um, but in reality, I've prayed for probably more people and not seen them healed than I have seen them healed. Um, that's sobering. It might be sobering for some of you guys to hear. Uh, but at the same time, today, as I'm growing, I'm seeing more people healed than I used to. Like the consistency is higher. It's amazing. Even if you look at the channel, if you were to take a moment, read through the comments, and read through the progression of videos, um, my videos are seeing more people healed today than they did back in the day. And so, you know, when I was starting, and actually this Saturday, I'm gonna be talking a bit more about my start and my story. We're gonna have another real talk. It's gonna be really cool. Um, but when I was starting, uh, like guys, I, I prayed for months and didn't see anybody healed. And even after that, like I find that divine healing, like growing this thing, it's not like a, bam, you're there and you're always and everything's on and it's good and it's great and it's going. Like it's kind of an up and down and uh, I'll, I'm seeing tons of miracles and then all of a sudden I, I stop and I'll, I'll dive more into that as uh, on Saturday. But um, like this stuff's real. Like man, it's a growing thing. It's a diving in thing. So what did I do when I prayed for people and they didn't get healed? Oh, I kept going. I didn't stop. I didn't give up. I ran. The only reason I'm here today doing this YouTube channel or uh, teaching as a pastor or healing the sick, going out on the street, praying for people and seeing miracles. The only reason I'm here today is because I didn't give up. I didn't back off. I didn't just say, well, nuts to you, God, and walk away. I said, Lord, I'm going to dive into your word. I'm going to discover the truth. And I know as I know truth of your word about healing, I'm going to see amazing things. Amazing things are going to happen. So, Please don't elevate people. I don't care how many people they've seen healed. The only difference between you and them or even you and me is just maybe been around the block a little bit more and maybe have a more so renewed mind to the word of God. It's really just that simple. If you dive into the word, if you pursue the word, if you run after Jesus, you're going to see amazing miracles, amazing things. Uh, you're going to be healed, set free, delivered. Um, if you dive into the word about that, and you don't give up and don't back off. Like even in my own physical body, this is one of the coolest things for me, is for years I couldn't receive healing myself. Like I would pray for people and they would get healed and yet I couldn't get healed. It was ridiculous. It's like, why is that a thing? Why does it make sense when I can pray for somebody, they get healed and yet when I get prayed for, nothing happens or I get prayed for, something happens and then an hour later, the thing that happened and I know I was healed is gone. It's like, and I'm back to pain. It's like, what, what, what is that all about? 
But today, because I chose to dive into God's word rather than say nuts to you, God, and back off, I pursued the Lord. I pursued the word. I pursued teaching. I dove into the word. And now today, I've been healed of more things today than I ever have in the past. I've had issues that plagued me for years that are finally done, um, that are finally over, that are finally healed. And so if you're in a position right now where you're like, man, I wish I could be like that person. I wish I could be like that person. Man, take the people off the pedestal in your life. Just take it off. Say to yourself, you know what? It's not about, I wish I could be like that person. The ultimate truth, Jesus said you can be like him. Like you don't even need to elevate people. Jesus said you as a believer can be like him. John 14. Oh my gosh. Like, what does it matter about people? You can be like Jesus. That's the goal. You can live transformed. That's the goal. You can be changed. You can be new. You can be free. You can be healed. This is the Bible, man. It's like, just don't stop and don't back off. And uh, so keep going. Subscribers, guys who are either wanting to be healed or wanting to um, uh, learn to minister healing, wherever you're at in that. And I mean, you really, you should be both. Run the race. Uh, be willing to run. Don't make it a, I'm trying healing for a season to see if it works. No, this is the Bible, man. It's in there. And so it's a lifestyle for the rest of your days. Make a commitment for the rest of my days. I'm going to run after Jesus. And I'm going to walk in miracles. And I'm going to run after this thing. I'm going to figure it out. And I'm going to minister it. And if you make that choice, you're going to see amazing things. Anyway, I'm, yeah, I had no real script for this video. I just wanted to have a conversation in a moment uh, where I felt like God was putting something on my heart. Don't elevate people. Run after Jesus. Um. If you're, if you're praying for people and nothing's happening, take a deep breath. <laughs> it's in a sense, it's okay. It's okay. You're, everything's going to be okay because as you keep going and as you keep pursuing Jesus and his word and keep learning, you're going to see people healed. It's going to shift. It's going to, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. And if you're a person who's wanting to be healed, if you're like willing to go for it and never back off um, and dive in, like you will be healed. You will be set free. It's yours in Christ. Actually, the, the better way to look at it is it's already mine in Jesus because he paid for it. Like all of this is yours, you guys. It's yours. And by the way, if you want to learn more about healing, you can check out a couple videos here and here. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Hit the bell. Don't miss a video. Mm -hmm.